Having an interesting surface to work on means you've kind of broken the back of the painting right from the beginning. Uh, you're not working on blank, you've got something to respond to and so with this dark base I can now put these light bits of collage on top and um, immediately I've got a strong value contrast and I can create an interesting shape by um, just cutting out light coloured um, bits of paper and um, arranging them on the paper to create that nice shape. And so that's what I'm doing here. And all of the paper I'm using, I'm uh, selecting because it has a bit of that warm sort of yellow in it um, on top of that black and white base shape. And this is a map, and that has got some fine lines on it, which is similar to the um, sort of diagram underneath. Now this is a stencil, and so I'm not using the whole stencil, I'm just taking a part of it and sort of creating my own shape. I'm trying to put that paint on quite thickly on the, on the stencil because I want to cover the um, marks that are underneath the yellow paint so I get good definition. Okay and that yellow um, relates to the yellow that is underneath and now I'm just going to uh, with the paintbrush I'm just sort of creating some other um, shapes in this as well. So I've done it with paper and now I'm doing it with paint. Scratching through the wet paint with a comb using a water soluble crayon, I'm draw drawing into the wet paint as well. Then just softening those marks with a little bit of water. Coming over with um, a little bit darker paint so I can just push that white shape to the left back a bit. And now I'm looking for something else that's different. And this paper has got a similar sort of stencil shape in it which relates to that yellow shape that I've put at the top but it's completely different in its colors so um, well not actually completely different it does have that turquoise blue which relates to the crayon I've just put on and now I'm going to uh, just select and push it back a little bit and try and integrate it into the rest of the um, design with the white paint and balancing with a bit of the same paper on the left hand side. Coming in with a red um, soluble crayon now. Just to add a little bit of line. And now bringing a light area up into this top left hand corner. I liked that little bit of um, grey collage that's actually stuck to that paper. So I've included that in that shape there. A little bit more crayon. Just to bring the red over to that left hand side. And now I'm going to try and create a little bit more interest in that top corner. So that's the same colour as um, the paint that was used on the very bottom and the underneath layer so that kind of relates to that and ties in with that color and now just scribbling some pencil over the top of it just to bring some loose marks in getting some yellow into that corner and a tiny little bit of yellow on that side and now I just wanted to um, 
deepen the sort of value contrast through the centre part of the composition. Just softening those marks a little bit. And then coming in with a white just to link to that middle section. And I'm just covering the whole thing with some gloss medium. Just, um, you can see it's picked up a bit of the crayon and it, it's pink, but that um, doesn't really matter. It just seals the surface. With this one, instead of starting with collage, I'm going to start with paint and we'll see if that makes a difference. Once again, because I'm working on a surface that I've already prepared, I've got lots of interesting marks to start off with. And they all happened completely, um, you know, without knowing what this painting was going to be about. But it just gives me a starting point. It gives me a better um, beginning when I've got something interesting to start with, rather than just a blank piece of paper. just breaking the surface of the paint with um, a comb. Now I'm going to start adding some collage just to um, make it a little bit more interesting. So the map um, only relates in terms of it having a little bit of blue. That's the only thing it has in common with the shape. But that's enough. And now for something completely different. What I'm looking at here when I'm putting this um, collage paper on are the negative spaces, the dark shapes that I'm making by adding this paper. I'm taking it right out to the edge of the composition and in doing that it's, it's creating these dark shapes from the background first layer. Now I'm bringing a bit of yellow into the bottom part of this composition. adding some light and dark um, collage paper that's already been painted on. And then a line. Which kind of echoes the curve that's in that blue area. And then just putting some lines over the top of it, like I had done with the other one. And this is a water-soluble pencil as well, so I can add a little bit of water after I put these lines in. So there is a little bit of water there. And just to um, soften it and make it a little bit looser in parts. <laughs> 